Good evening everyone, so I wouldn't normally start vlogs like this, I would either have my big tripod set up or I would, you know, be stood up with the camera in my hand, but I'm just like, <laughs> I'm too tired to even bother doing that right now, but I apparently have the energy to, 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 to set up my small tripod good evening everyone it is i was about to say wednesday it's not wednesday it's friday the 18th of september i don't know it's like only the 18th and it's only just gone like mid like the middle of the month i've already been thinking like into october november kind of as well and yes i'm back vlogging um i took a little break yeah i haven't vlogged probably i want to say in about a week because I haven't really vlogged, well, I obviously I haven't vlogged this week because I just kind of wanted to kind of give myself some time to get settled into things and in the week that I haven't vlogged I have some good news and I have some bad news. I'm going to start with the bad news because then we can kind of soften the blow with the good news. So bad news is that my timetable has kind of changed. It's not completely bad because the days are still the same. So I'm still going to have college on Mondays, Tuesdays and Fridays. However, I will only be going into college on Tuesdays and Fridays and then Monday is going to be my remote date for the time being which I don't mind but the thing that just makes me a little bit anxious is the two days that I'm going to be going in are Tuesday and Friday and in my head that's just like really awkward which means that you know I would technically have two weekends but not really because you know I'm still gonna have a load of college work to do on Wednesdays and Thursdays but the good news this kind of it definitely goes in the good news is that I am starting to get back into a routine it's just taking me a bit of time and I'm allowing myself to kind of take that time to just settle into things and we all know that establishing a routine is hard but once you get into it you're fine like I mean I'm clearly not fine at the moment, I don't know if you can tell, I am very tired, my anxiety kept me up until half one this morning and then I woke up at quarter to six for college because it's a Friday, I had to go in. It just means that I'm super tired right now and it's currently five to seven, it's actually kind of early but the sun is kind of starting to set now i don't actually know when santa is i guess there are just like some there's this weird part of like the good and bad news because there's kind of there's more, there's more to this um because i have i've obviously been kind of getting myself back into a routine with everything and uh like i've had friends say that it's gonna take a bit of time to establish a routine i think it might have been kj because like when like you're on the spectrum um, and that you have Asperger's or whatever really on that spectrum, it is like a lot more harder for us atypicals to adjust. It takes us longer than neurotypicals. For me, a lot of it comes down to I don't really know what I'm saying at this point because I'm so tired. <laughs> What was I even doing? Oh, I was looking when the sun was setting. You see what I mean? I'm all over the place. So the sun is going to be setting in 16 minutes. <laughs> 16 minutes? I feel like I'm doing something wrong there. Yes, 16 minutes the sun will be going down. I have like, I've obviously had people say to me that, you know, it's going to take a bit of time to establish a routine. Obviously, I know that. I understand that because I hate change with passion. I mean sometimes change is good and I like sometimes dare I say it I like it when change happens especially with this whole like lockdown situation going on right now because there is, there has been talk of a second lockdown a second national lockdown here 
in the UK, in not the UK, but England. It just kind of makes me feel that if that were to happen, I would, I just don't think I would be able to cope with it. Like my mental health was, was bad in, you know, this lockdown just gone. No, well, just. Um, my mental health was bad in, in the last lockdown that ended in, like in June. And I just, I dread to think what could happen if, we went into a second lockdown and like I have two ways I'm thinking about this first being obviously like I'm dreading a second lockdown and I'm not looking forward to it and I feel like something bad it's gonna happen to me and I could you know do something stupid that gives me a lot of light I didn't even realize at this point I'm already unstable enough any small change now is just going to make that worse and it's going to topple me over the edge over the edge and i'm i'm just not ready for it i'm definitely not ready for a second lockdown if it if it's going to happen there's been talk of it happening in october uh, in the october half term but then there are people that are saying that you know that would be that would be way too late but the thing is like the government want to keep schools open which honestly it's all kind of it's just shit this is gonna sound weird like most people but the first like the very first thing that i started like learning about and studying on this new course is dystopia and funnily enough we are in fact living in a dystopian world because the government in like in my head and probably in a lot of other people's heads is all turning into to totalitarianism totalitarianism which basically means that the government are telling us what to do what not to do they have all control over everything and doesn't that just sound familiar it because because it does to me and so that's kind of like my update right now i am unstable <laughs> very much so but i just but the reason why i decided to pick up the camera is because like i feel like most people would just be like you should be resting and you know doing what you can to look after yourself and i'm gonna be completely honest I love vlogging and taking my very short break made me really miss vlogging. I just, there's something about it that I love. It keeps me sane. I want to be able to keep doing it, but I don't want to be putting too much pressure on myself to always be getting vlogs out, especially when they are all pretty much 50 minutes long. And I mean, this vlog is probably going to be the same, but I'm going to hope that it's a bit more scattered. I mean, saying that I'm probably going to be editing this video in a week's time, this vlog, sorry, and just be like, what, why did you do this to yourself? You filmed way too much and you're stressing yourself out for no reason. I do actually have like my video schedule still, like I'm always going to have my video schedule and there was a time where I was literally just overwhelming myself with way too many things to do and it's just also meant that my writing has suffered a lot. That was the other thing I was going to talk about because obviously a big part of my vlogs have been writing but recently they have obviously started kind of changing more into what I actually do on a weekly basis and being completely honest the last few weeks I think you know I've only ever written two to three times a week which is isn't bad like I'm not gonna put myself down for that but I used to do a lot more when I was doing a lot more I didn't have like other priorities like college and work because I'm obviously now working at the weekends I really need to get that changed actually I feel like I'm just kind of doing like 
a whole life update, which I've already kind of done. I, d I did one recently that hopefully would have gone up, gone up before this vlog, but I went into detail in that video about some of the other things I'm struggling with, like my body and whatnot. I just, I've been just really unhappy with everything at the moment. I've been really anxious and you know all of all of the changes don't help i think that's kind of what is causing all of this just a lot of the anxiety comes from too many changes when there are too many changes i struggle to keep up and when i struggle to keep up i get overwhelmed and so it goes goes around and around in this vicious cycle of me basically just having a breakdown because I feel like I'm just at that point of my life right now. I'm on the verge of a breakdown and I just kind of have to, as much as I hate it, I kind of just have to ride these waves, let them take me where I need to go. But the other thing I was saying is I th is that I am also tr I'm trying to have a positive mindset because I'm so stuck in the now that I'm not really thinking about the future when <laughs> I'd really hope that things are a lot better than they are now <clears throat> you know in a few years time when the coronavirus is gone and when life will return to normal because this whole thing is just it's like a movie it's like a book our worlds have literally been turned upside down and this virus has literally shaken us so much that there's not all of us but like it's shaken a lot of people you know there's just i feel like there's just not much left yeah maybe we should get on with the vlog i, I know i've basically i've talked for almost i've talked for 18 minutes i haven't done anything but what i was gonna do is this evening I'm actually going to get a video edited because I believe it goes up. It goes up next Sunday. Ah, oh, that, that's better because I thought it was going up on Thursday. I switched things around. And that was kind of like the other thing I was going to talk about with everything um, on YouTube. I obviously like to keep my schedule. It keeps me sane. Honestly, if you need some sanity right now, I don't know. If, if, you're do, if you do YouTube, set yourself a schedule because... I honestly just think it's been life-saving. I mean, especially if you have a type A personality, I think it would really help. I am trying to stay as organised as possible, but it's not always easy with everything going on right now. And to be honest, I've kind of neglected my bullet journal as well. So I'm, I'm not really good at planning at the moment, but then it's really hard to plan in these times. Should I be putting that pressure on myself? No. And I feel like maybe I should go back to what I was saying about thinking into October and November. I have actually already started planning out, well, my October and some of my November content. Because if you didn't know, um, actually you probably won't know because I've prob I probably haven't mentioned this anywhere else. But I am... <laughs> um, not going to be participating in NaNoWriMo this year. With everything going on right now, I don't need that added pressure of trying to write 50,000 words in a month. And I also don't want that pressure to do Preptober either. I do have a feeling I will be doing something quite similar. I just won't be participating in the actual events. I will still hopefully be in that kind of community. I'm not doing the actual events this year because it's too much for me this year. I'm getting really close to finishing this third draft. Once the third draft is done, I'm going back through, doing a complete read through, then making any changes that need to be made. And then I will be sending to beta readers, which I mean, I have kind of started planning for, but I don't want to say anything for definite yet. But for now, I have <laughs> talked for way too long, but I feel like I really needed to get all of that off my chest. I'm feeling very tired right now, but I do have 
things to do so I'm gonna crack on with this video that needs editing because I kind of want to get it all I don't think I'm gonna get it all done tonight but I want to get the majority of it done so I don't really have to worry about it next week because I want to get it done by the end of this week so I won't have to worry about uploading it next week I'm going to get on with this video that needs editing it hopefully would have already gone up by the time this vlog goes up so I will leave that linked either down in the description or in the cards if I remember but I'm so disorganized at this point that I probably won't it is time to get that video editing done it's now about nine o'clock and I think I may be done for the day. I'm gonna move you around. I have now actually made a dent in the video. There's still a lot more to go. So I'm actually happy with the progress that I've done today, done today, and I've also got a candle burning there, which I kind of had to light because um, I don't know why, but my room just smell a little bit funny. I'm gonna leave the rest of this video to another day just because there is a lot of content to it i know i was saying that i want to get it done and like ready by the end of the weekend but i don't think i'm gonna be able to do that i mean unless i spend sunday evening editing some more of it to be completely honest because i'm tired i'm not pushing myself as much as i usually would but then on the other hand i d i have felt kind of super unproductive today i'm not putting myself down for it i am in pajamas because i think the last clip i i was actually in proper clothes but i'm actually now gonna start getting ready for bed <sighs> get into bed in about an hour's time <laughs> Good morning everyone, so it is actually now Saturday the 19th of September 
it is currently about 20 to 11. I have actually been up since half seven. So I've been up for three hours already. I have actually had a shower. I have gotten myself ready for the day, had breakfast, dried my hair, which you can probably tell, like it's looking a little crazy from different angles. <laughs> but today, I really want today to be a writing day because I said this yesterday, I am at this point of my life where I am just really unstable. I've already had a bit of a wobble this morning. Looking through YouTube, there's always like a news section. And one of the things was about, you know, like a second wave and a second national lockdown warning. And at this point, it, it's just inevitable that we are going to go into a second national lockdown just with the way things are and I guess I'm just starting to mentally and physically prepare myself for that. I mean, I, I already feel like I am physically ready. I spend so much of my time at home anyway. The only thing that, you know, nothing would really change in my head because of what happened in the first lockdown it, I've just I've got it in my head that something bad is going to happen again and obviously it's not like good I don't want to suffer again I don't want to have to go through all of that again and I just honestly my opinion on this whole thing without the vaccine we are literally just going to be going in and out of lockdown because the government are trying to control the virus. Going in and out of lockdown is going to have, is going to be like emotionally taxing, physically taxing, and going in and out of lockdown is not gonna help anyone. It's not gonna help the virus because all it does is slow the spread down. And then once you're out of lockdown, the virus will just, you know, pick up. And it's just like, do these people really not think about these things? Because I definitely am. The one thing I feel like has kept me sane throughout all of this is writing. Today I just want to really focus on writing. I have already actually bullet journaled. Bullet journaled? I've, I've gone through my bullet journal and sorted that out because I really needed to do that. But the thing is, like, I don't really feel like... I just don't really feel that bullet journaling is working for me anymore. I have been kind of hesitant to buy a passion planner. I think that kind of layout would work better for me. It depends, <laughs> it really does. I would really like to buy one, but I just, I don't know. Bullet journaling really isn't working for me anymore and I know that <laughs> maybe I should be trying something different. I mean, I've already been trying like a new way already, which I have shown in other vlogs and it's literally just tracking what I do for every half an hour of the day from 8am to 10pm. That has actually really helped because you can kind of like I get an overview of what I've actually done in the day compared to looking at my bullet journal and seeing that I haven't done some of the tasks that I actually wanted to get done. I just think it's so much better to track every half an hour of the day you can see what you actually get done as opposed to what I haven't done and I have I think the way people have described it in the past is that it's like a ta-da list instead of a to-do list let me know which way you prefer do you prefer to have a to-do list or a ta-da list or both for right now I think I'm gonna get myself set up <clears throat> to get some writing done yes actual writing because I'm getting so close to finishing the third draft and I just, I really want to get it done so that maybe in this vlog I move on to the next stage. I mean, that might be high hopes. It is writing time, so I do need to get myself set up.
evening everyone it is actually sunday the 20th of september obviously it is currently 10 to 9 different angle because i'm about to sit down to get some editing done of a different video because apparently i haven't got enough things on my plate to get done i actually have a lot to get done it's very stressful i'm at a point in my life where stress levels are 100 percent i'm gonna just move my keyboard a minute because i'm in, i'm going to need it for editing and yes wireless i'm incredibly stressed right now because uh there are quite a few things going on just with you know the amount of shit i've got to get done i've got to get this whopper of a video edited and it's not even a vlog usually it would be a vlog that would there's like a whopper to edit but no this time it's like it's like a feature length main channel video at this point on top of that i do have college tomorrow online which is meant to be starting at half nine i actually not long checked teams where everything is like on for college online and pretty much everything at this point it's just the way that everyone communicates uh microsoft teams that is and there is nothing nothing on the calendar for tomorrow and i'm stressed because i now don't know if it's still going ahead it should be because we're met actually meant to have three days of college like with lecturers so mondays tuesdays and fridays did i even talk about that basically my remote day was originally going to be friday but now it's actually been swapped swapped to monday because lecturer issues and whatnot just like i'm super stressed at the moment and it just means that i obviously got some writing done yesterday i think but there is like I haven't done any today just because I have but I meal prepped this morning for the rest not for the rest of the week but like I did like four lunches even though I'm only going to be at college for two but I know I'm going to need four because there are going to be days where I just need a quick lunch so I meal prepped this morning then I basically edited a bonus video God knows why I do it to myself. I had lunch, went to work, and then showered, and now we're here a few hours later, and I still haven't started editing my video yet. I'm actually gonna crack on with it and start getting myself ready for tomorrow because even though it's it's gonna be online, I do actually have to like get dressed, and ideally I would love to do like my brows, like fill them in, um, also, let's not talk about these two spots on my face, just because I think they're actually from stress. They don't look good, do they? That's what stress does to you. It literally tears you apart from the inside out. And I just, I can feel myself slowly going insane because of this stress. I've got so much on my plate that, yes, I am thinking about a YouTube hiatus, but then there are videos that I want to film, and I love this so much. It is, like, one of my main passions, but my writing is suffering a lot because of it i don't know i'm at a loss because this also kind of goes towards part of my course as well and i'm just like I, th I think writing is going to be the sacrifice i just need to have a good think with myself sit with my thoughts and just kind of think about what i should be prioritizing because my stress levels are so high that it is definitely affecting my body as you can kind of see with the spots like i got one here like i guess what you would call like in my smile line i don't know um and then one on my chin which yes you'd probably think is hormonal and it probably is because of the stress i feel like there's going to be a lot of stress in people's lives at the moment anyway just because i feel like oh my god i don't i don't even want to get started on talking about the american fires because i know it's bad i know they probably have it a lot worse than i do i feel very lucky that it that kind of thing hasn't happened 
here this year. I feel like that's probably going to jinx it because there were Australian ones at the beginning of the year. Americans, this like this time of year. I'm just like, what's next? I dread to think. I'm actually going to put the camera down and get the video editing that I need to get done because otherwise it's not going to get done and it actually goes up on Sunday. I originally thought it was going up on Thursday but I've got another video for then so I'm really glad that I've got a little bit of extra time to edit this video. So I'm now actually sat down. It is actually nine o'clock now. Oh, I really wanted to be getting editing like an hour ago but that clearly has not happened but before I do actually get to editing there was another quick thing that I really wanted to talk about and that is you know because of all of this stress I'm definitely not the only person in thinking like about this or actually doing it there are people that actually do it but I would really like to start writing something a little bit lighter because I feel like a lot of the stuff that I am writing at the moment is very heavy mental health wise and it's just a lot of like heavy topics featured in Scarlet Blood Skies not just that either but also Stick Stones and Broken Bones because that is the one that focuses more on like sexual assault in the workplace maybe I'll actually talk about what that book is about at some point because I don't think I've even done that yet because my books tend to feature a lot of heavy content I would just I'd love to be able to kind of work on a side project as well and I have started thinking about it and I really want it to be I guess what you would call like a Christmas romance and I'm kind of thinking of it in like like a Christmas break type thing where there's like a workaholic and whatnot main character so a, a, a woman and then I also there will also need to be like some sort of other protagonist as well like the male protagonist or the love interest so yeah I am actually thinking about starting I, I would say a secret side project but it's not really secret because I kind of just blabbed about it haven't I but that is the idea I have come up with so far I'm kind of excited about the idea because I just think it would be a lot lighter than all of this other stuff I'm writing but if I do decide to work on this side project, it is going to take time away from Scarlet Blood Skies, but then maybe I need that. I will kind of also need to cut down on the amount of video stuff I'm doing as well. Even though it's something I love to do, I probably will need to kind of cut down in the next few months. I know college work is just going to get even more stressful. I am going to want to write as well, so I will need to start cutting down on my videos soon. But for now, I should probably actually get to editing this monstro this monstrosity of a video. I'm just like tilting it down because I've got my next quarter schedule up. <laughs> this is the video I'm working on. You can't even really... Like, this is the point I'm on, like, editing-wise. There we go. This is where I need to edit to. Bearing in mind that this, this end bit here, I believe, is already edited. Good morning, everyone. So, it is now Monday, the 21st of September. Where has the month gone? This month has gone by, so fast and I'm already what on the third week of college I, I just I can't even fathom it and yes I am actually drinking a smoothie because this is my breakfast and it's currently it's almost nine o'clock I do have my online class in half an hour and I just I've obviously I'm obviously having my breakfast this is literally my breakfast and then I am also starting to plan out the week I don't really have any like important details on here so I can just show it because this is all I've got so far I've just got like an overview of the week so I've just got important information like I'm not gonna put in too much detail like 
I'm not putting too much detail into my weekly overviews at the moment just because I feel like it's completely unnecessary um, because I have a tendency to write my goals down three times so it, they usually go in my weekly goals, my weekly overview and then my daily goals but I'm going to stop doing that and just do it as weekly goals and then my daily goals. Obviously as I go throughout the week I will add to this but you know like I said this is all I've got for now. So because of my online class I do actually need to set up my webcam in a minute. All I really need to do is put it on the top of my computer screen and make sure everything is looking okay with it. Make sure everything is working because it is now in the calendar. I was stressing over nothing last night because it is now in the calendar for half nine. I am actually just going to continue to plan out my week. It's now about two o'clock, it's actually five past. Online class has just kind of finished. We did have like a couple of breaks. We only had one official break and then our lunch break. So I did have, I have had lunch. I feel like I've been at, I've basically been non-stop since half nine so because I was actually working through my lunch break I managed to get a video all edited and uploaded actually what edited and uploaded no I managed to get a video completely edited so all I need to do now for that is export it and I also need to move my body somehow today I'm kind of tempted to go out because it's so nice but actually, I might, you know, I'm actually going to open my window because I need to let some air in. There we go. So I might go out. I might just kind of stay in and get some exercise here. But I didn't really have that much for lunch. I should probably eat some more, do my exercise and then eat some more. But either way, I need a break because I haven't actually taken a proper break since half nine this morning. It is now about quarter past eight and I don't really know what I've been doing for the past couple hours since I've had my dinner. I feel like I've just kind of been sat here doing nothing but I swear at some point I was uploading video. I feel like time is just ex escaping me at this point. I thought I need to start getting ready for bed in about an hour. do have time to get something in. I want to work on Scarlet Blood Skies. The point where I left off, I just, it, it just wasn't great. I think I was just having a bit of a writer's block moment and now I'm kind of just scared to get back into it. I'm scared to get back into it because I feel like, isn't, like it's not gonna go away. Um, and I guess I'm just kind of scared to get back into it because I don't want to make even more of a mess of it. So I could either I could either carry on working on the third draft 
or I could get some script practice in because today has like mainly just been focused on screenwriting college wise and so I kind of I really want to just have a practice of it kind of just write out I'd like to start writing the pilot episode to start practicing and so I think that's probably what I'm gonna do this evening I've already been doing some brainstorming for my what I'm calling my side project at the moment like my Christmas romance thing I don't know why I'm just not feeling it I don't know why I would probably say I've, I've done about an hour of that already and then I'm probably gonna be able to get like another hour in of like script practice so that means I would have done two I can get two hours done I'm gonna focus on practicing script writing tonight oh that that's the other thing I also kind of need to have a look at Scrivener because I know there's like a screen writing function but I don't know what it's like just check it out see what it's like and if I think I can use it or not Good evening everyone. So it's actually now a whole week later from when I last filmed. I haven't vlogged in a week. It's now Monday the 28th of September and it's actually currently like half nine at night and I have actually kind of just been editing this vlog up to this point obviously. I just thought it's time to kind of end the vlog. I feel like all I've really done in this vlog is stress a lot. I've had a lot of college work and I have also done a lot of video editing. Specifically in this vlog I have talked about it probably way more than I have actually done it. With like YouTube videos I don't think people really understand how long the process takes because filming like let's say a main channel video for example so filming say i don't know what went up recently let's have a look see this is the gr good thing about this angle because i can like do stuff at the same time but then it does kind of change the lighting a video for example let's talk about like the recent life update I did about the hard truths going back to college during a pandemic and that video is actually 16 minutes actually it's more like 17 that video is 17 minutes so that probably would have taken me about I want to say like 25 to 30 minutes to film and it then takes about an hour to fully edit then exporting would take 10 to 15 that means 17 minutes was like the final product divide that by about two that would have taken me i want to i want to say like eight to ten minutes to export i've obviously got to upload everything which probably takes me about an hour so in total the whole process kind of takes me half an hour to film an hour to edit that's an hour and a half and then probably like another hour for other post-production bits. So that is two and a half hours. And then there are vlogs, which take days to film usually if it's like a weekly type of vlog. Then it will take me, I want to say like five to eight hours, like a full working day to edit, which I do like over a few days. And then it'll take about 20 minutes to export depending on how long it is. This whole video stuff takes a lot of time and I feel like that's kind of why I I have not written since I last filmed. And I feel like that's exactly why I'm going on I'm going on this hiatus in November because it will give me the opportunity to actually write and get my third draft done if I like don't get it done in October because no I still have not finished the third draft. Do I hate myself for this? Yes, because I didn't take into account that I would be doing a lot of my college work from home when I kind of set my 
deadline for the middle of September, which I didn't really set because I didn't even really set myself a deadline. I just kind of knew that I wanted to get it done by mid-September, but it wasn't like a hard deadline. I wasn't pushing myself to do it. College, it, like I prioritized college because it's more important because I am like, taking money out, taking money out for this because obviously I applied for my advanced learn alone. I'm going to get the most out of this course while I can. Because I've been so focused on college work, I just haven't really had the time to write and when I have had the chance to write, I have actually been doing video stuff. I had to sacrifice something and that ended up being writing which, you know, obviously I'm not happy about. I feel like that is something else we need to talk about because obviously I, you know, stopped writing. I haven't written in over a week. But that's not the only thing that has, you know, sacrificed, that I have sacrificed, and it's not the only thing that has suffered either because just with everything going on right now with, like, a lot of COVID outbreaks happening in, like, universities and like some places going into local lockdowns and some places be it ha like having more restrictions than others and with college work on top of that it's just very very hard to like cope with everything right now something is always changing and i'm always having to adjust to something because of my asperger's you know it does take me a bit more time to adjust things and to process things that I just that is always going to happen I've literally been filming for eight minutes really you know because of all of that my mental health has suffered quite a lot so I have had a couple of outbreaks in the last week that I haven't vlogged now I'm trying to be a bit more open and honest about like my mental health journey because I feel like it's, if anything, more important than anything else in my life right now because if I'm not looking after my mental health, then everything else is going to suffer. I have been feeling quite anxious, but more than anything I feel like I've just been depressed. I have felt empty and unhappy and unfulfilled and numb unfortunately that's just what depression is i feel like i'm probably gonna get questions like oh my god have you been to a doctor have you seen your gp have you seeked help from a professional the answer to that is no i didn't quite realize how bad it, it is like I didn't really realise how bad it's, it, it's been. I just feel a bit more like aware of it now. Now that I've kind of realised and I have become aware of, you know, what's happening to me. I am starting to want to reach out for help. I don't think I've ever mentioned it on my channel, but during the last, like, during lockdown, back from, like the end of March to the beginning of June, during that, we were in lockdown for three months. That sounds about right. My mental health was, you know, quite bad. Like really high anxiety levels, depression levels. I can't really remember. They were probably pretty low as well. That happened, I ended in hospital. And actually during that time, the only reason why I was even in the hospital hospital i feel like the only reason why i was even in the hospital was because i was actually having phone appointments with a counselor from the iapt service here in the uk like for like my area my county anyway and it actually really helped me and i've never actually talked about it before but I feel like I can't even really say how much it helped me. Like, I feel like I'm just crying over, like, absolutely anything at the moment. Like, what is this doing? <laughs> I'm not going to cry over my hair. Like, bloody hell. It's just the fact that I felt so relieved having that help 
from someone that I know I just I need that again to kind of help with my anxiety and depression I would say you know yet again but not really because back then it was mainly just helping me with like I guess what you could now call COVID-19 anxiety basically just meaning like I had a lot of anxiety around the whole COVID situation that service that service really helped me I feel like I don't know if I can reach out to them again because obviously I have been with them before it would just be such a relief if I was to start getting the help I need again that is actually going to be one of my next steps looking up resources and everything like that you know things i could do to help myself which to be fair i'm starting to do like a lot more specifically journaling because obviously the things that i like to do i like to do my three things i'm grateful for then a daily affirmation and then kind of depending on the time of day i will then do like at the end of the day i will do three positives from the day what could have been different and three things to do tomorrow but then I feel like maybe I I should probably get rid of the what could have been different and replace that with something because it's not very like positive it's a good it's good to reflect on your days that is something that I want to start getting back start getting back into doing and so I think I might journal tonight before I go to sleep and then take this with me to college tomorrow because obviously I do have college tomorrow and it's approaching quarter to ten and I should be getting ready for bed I have to be up at 5 30 in the morning I'm going to be taking the time in November with my hiatus to just spend a lot of time writing and over the next few weeks you know getting help for my my mental health and so I feel like that's all I can really say for this video is it's just been a lot of stress college work and video editing more than writing i did get some work done on scarlet blood skies that is going to be it for this video this vlog if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a big thumbs up also make sure to subscribe down below ding the bell to be notified every single time i upload if you so wish to be all of my social media links will be down below in the description for you to check out Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.